Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman has played it safe. What are the big takeaways we have with us? Our editor in chief, Sanjay Pugalia, here in the studio. Uh, Mr. Pugalia, really appreciate your time. And let me begin by asking you, according to you, what are the big takeaways? Uh, it's a budget before ballot. So that is the big point here. So on our Hindi channel, I just said, okay, now there are only uh, four jat. Hmm. और 400 सीटों की बात okay. चार जात है और 400 सीटों की बात, बात है सो व्हाट आर दोस फोर कास्ट एंड दैट इज द न्यू पॉलिटिकल डिस्कोर्स एंड नैरेटिव दैट दिस बजट कंसोलिडेट्स इट वाज सेड अर्लियर किसान महिला युवा गरीब दीज आर फोर पिलर्स ऑन व्हिच द एंटायर वेलफेयर direct benefit transfer schemes are being built because with growth and development on the major economy macro economy side what you need is to support the needy classes and categories and that also catapults and results into job creation and overall development everyone becomes part of it so this budget pronounces that in a more amplified manner uh, it gives you a complete picture how the next 5 years will be uh, propelled with uh, higher growth 7% growth target can be achieved with all these foundational work being implemented with speed the kind of speed this budget promises will be actually mind boggling so you may not find any fresh headline but this budget actually deals with the brass tax of the requirement on both front hmm. how to manage the economy how to manage the politics how to manage the election that is why i am saying four castes equal to 400 seats okay so you have given up the big number certainly and that will be the headline that four castes that uh, prime minister modi first spoke about after the assembly elections victory is the lexicon which has come also in the budget exactly. so would you say now that uh, besides giving a new election lexicon uh, the government under prime minister modi and finance minister nirmala sitaraman has come up with a budget lexicon uh, exactly and what is the more important and the core part of this budget announcement shortest speech ever hmm. but absolutely ambitious plan for infrastructure development that results into jobs that results into higher manufacturing activity and at the bottom of pyramid also uh, when she talks about uh, solar energy that creates another kind of serious economic activity across the country so she is working on various pillars of the economy which actually does only one job which is how to push country's growth rate around 7% and maybe more and 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 so you know the point certainly is this is disha nirdeshak budget showing the direction kind of a budget then do we really have a picture clear of the next 5 years then uh, i think those who are busy with the economic activity it is very clear to them that uh, mr modi is working on a plan which is basically driven by serious capital expenditure to now make india an attractive manufacturing center because all the issues of logistics cost of business cost of money are being addressed by various means and ways and looking at the global situation this is very important to see budget in that context uh, china plus is a reality that other uh, international players are looking for uh, manufacturing bases where you can be cost effective and more efficient uh, europe has its own problem america has its own battle so suddenly india has become a very very interesting sweet spot to do business yeah. our engagement with middle east is another engine that is driving the big ambitious growth plan for india everything coming together india actually comes at a uh, level where every other investor will be now seriously interested earlier we used to hear india has a great potential we are very interested are you putting money uh, in india or not that should happen now with this kind of budget promise if you ask me about my crip i have three crips hmm. there was an opportunity this government has all political capital that a uh, most powerful government all ever imagines so what are these three things land labor privatization 
these are contentious issues to me it is so called contentious issues there is a full public support for all these big transformational moves but the way mr modi does politics it is not the most critical uh, uh, thing to do because silent work is already on i will reach there without pronouncing it how will i reach there because i am creating serious infrastructure for economic development which will create jobs and which will uh, finally result into a higher growth and higher poverty reduction and look last 10 years 23 crore people That's being right. lifted out of poverty is a serious number we need to understand the implication of these numbers but the opposition also says that the free ration is being given to 80 crore people so is this lopsided or unequal development till i come to that level where economic activity can support and opportunities can be created not supporting vulnerable class is not an option this is a debate very valid debate that if i am supporting such a large population with my free ration to what extent to what end date to what end result it is an issue but we have to tackle it is not either or we have to do both uh i i would say there was a plan not that there was no plan but such a massive universal basic income scheme which was a fad in western democracies right. that go for ubi and all that what he has done ki i will not go universal i will go targeted for communities for most vulnerable people and that is required it also results in a sort of little long range job creation not that it will not result in job creation because solar you can say it is a dbt or a welfare scheme because it is a popular scheme people will have something on their uh, heart no it is not that it will actually job create jobs across the country so i think free ration the period has been extended that's right it will take some more time hmm. but gradually the balance will come because economic activity will pick up and at what pace you are a large economy and you are the fastest growing in the world 7% may not be enough for uh, an equal prosperous society like india but 7% is a great number to have uh, you would have seen several budgets in the past and budgets which are interim budgets vote on account keeping in mind the elections how would you rate this one in this, comparison to the past this budget promises one thing that we will accelerate our speed in what we are doing and we will expand our activities and ideas uh, this budget uh, has many ideas which may not be sounding like headlines hmm. but they are very important pieces for example three railway corridor now we think railway corridor is a routine game it is not it is a very big plan uh, connecting uh, mining areas and ports and energy uh, producing uh, 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 areas with ports and rail and other corridors is a major requirement for the country with all this you will see a new kind of urbanization what is another new thing first he built pra pradhan mantri awas yojana mein That's baki right. logon ka ghar right. now the focus is on affordable housing for lower middle class and middle class which is a very important requirement what part of inflation is bothering us in the cities it is housing transport rent or transport basically these two things and this is a pain point maybe somebody did not raise the issue but this government is politically very sensitive and very responsive so now this is appealing to middle class in a different way new middle class in a different way without giving you relaxation in tax lab which in mainstream media we have the habit of ki tax ka bada benefit mil gaya huh. so this government doesn't work like that okay so your last word as you look at uh, perhaps june july what do you think will happen then june july budget will be certainly very emphatic decisive and audacious because then a finance minister will get into the specific commitment this was a budget of intention earlier we used to say vote and account has me to kuch nahi hoga and then it was called interim budget but if you recall 2019 budget uh, interim budget speech had equally big announcements so that is what she has done this time she has given you a road map with very precise numbers that this is the number we are trying to achieve this is the money we are spending on capital expenditure on welfare schemes so uh, this sets the tone and the foundation for a very 
sustainable steady uh, course for our growth that is the biggest requirement of the country because economic activity have to come to a situation where every every hundred switch they work together the whole that is what hmm. that is what is going to happen uh, after this interim budget and uh, as is the commentary that this same government will be back so july budget will be much more audacious according to me okay so and i hope okay privatization land labor are addressed okay so your uh, concern points are addressed but uh, the headline that you have given us is char jat 400 ki baat ye unke man ki baat unki man ki baat all right uh, sanjay pugali really appreciate your time thank you so much